Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing lesson two, hand position and posture. This is super important and not to be overlooked. Posture, you need to sit up straight in your chair when you're practicing the practice chamber. You need to set your chair on the table in front of you that you're playing at. Of course, if you're sitting in a chair, you can't do that, but if you're playing at pipe band practice or rehearsal or lessons, need you to put your practice chainer up on the table and sit up straight. So hand position is very important. Please remember to keep your fingers flat. It's flat across here. No curved fingers, no fingertips, flat fingers. Your thumb should be behind the second finger on your right your fingers on the top hand should be perfectly flat as well. What I like to do is I like to have my bottom finger on my left hand, which is the E hole finger, on the tip of my finger, nearly the tip of my finger. And then as you angle your hand this way at oh, not quite 45 degrees, but not perfectly flat, but angled slightly, so maybe 25 degrees, 30 degrees. That brings this first finger to be approximately in the middle of your joint. The bottom hand is the same way. The right hand or bottom hand, your low G finger, which is your pinky on your right hand, should be at the tip of your pinky. And then as you angle your right hand up, at about 25 degrees, 30 degrees. Some people play with it almost perfectly flat, and that's okay if that is good for you. If your your arms are long enough to be able to do that, that's fine too. But I like to angle it slightly. Your first your first finger will overlap the chainer considerably. It'll land approximately in the middle of your first finger. So, but with everything lying flat, perfectly flat you should be able to have good dexterity and good hole coverage. Your thumb just covers the hole in the back with whatever is comfortable for you. One of the reasons why we play with our fingers flat is because in piping we play a lot of very quick embellishments. And so this is a demonstration to just show some of the quick embellishments we do. So aside from a little bobble there in the tin, uh, that is how you uh, that is how you play the practice chanter with full coverage of the holes, flat fingers, slightly angled upward bottom fingers on your right and left hand that are on the chanter are nearly on the fingertips. Those are some good <coughs> rules. And keep your thumb down between your, either between your first and second finger or, or behind the second finger. Those are some good basic rules for posture and hand position.